Hello everybody and welcome back to Southwest Norway. So today I've got two new pieces of equipment for the map. This is to replace a tractor which I've just sold. Um, but first of all, before I get into which tractor it was, these are the two to replace it. Now they're obviously very old, but I think they're going to be very, very fitting, um, especially as uh, the most liked comment on my first look video kind of thing for this map was, um, please use Volvo BM tractors. So. Here we go, we've got two here. We've got like a, I guess you could call it a front loader tractor and just a standard you know, four wheel drive, I think it's four wheel drive tractor. Actually no, it could be two, not too sure. Um, but this is the Volvo LM218, I think it is, front loader. So that's gonna be a nice addition to the fleet. And also just over here we've got the Volvo 840 with a turbo. Now, um, yeah, these are pretty hard to find. And Volvo BMs, they're not exactly common in Farming Simulator. In fact, I think this might be the only red tractor, only Volvo BM red tractor that there is. And this is a convert from at least FS13, possibly even 11 as well. Hence the reason why the textures aren't the best. Um, but yeah, it's, what can I do really? I mean, we've, got to, we've got to have them in because they're very fitting to the area. Uh, this one is actually, textures are a lot better on here. Uh, but I think both of them will be pretty decent really. So yes. Let's uh, take them back to the main yard. And the tractor that I replaced these two with was regrettably the Valmet. And I say regrettably because uh, I love the tractor, but it has just way too many glitches. Um, I mean, th to begin with, it was the sound. And the sound, it would not have made me get rid of the tractor if it was just the sound, but it was very tinny. And this is, I think this tractor's quite loud as well. Um, but yeah, the thing which about the Valmet was, it kept rolling away which wasn't too good um, but yeah that wasn't the only thing it obviously, uh, it obviously had bad sound and also uh, it d did like to um, not accelerate very well it was a bit poor at accelerating so it had to go really uh, but what we're going to do is try and look for an updated version of that one because I, I still want it it's just in the state it was in it wasn't really good enough oh look at this go now Volvo BM, oh I can't drive, you can uh, see my path from the tractor behind. Um, but yes, today I think, well this might be used tomorrow actually, but today we need to bail field number one, and obviously that is not a very big job. I was going to replace the baler as well, but then I thought, oh no, Vinge got it, so that would be a bit stupid. But I was going to go for a class Rollant, I think it is. Uh, which would have uh, fitted in well as well, I think. So uh, I, I wish I could replace everything now, um, as I have had so many comments saying that the tractors which I've chosen aren't the best. I agree with some of them, but not all of them. All right, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on my vehicle. There we go. Uh, yeah, I, I think, really, they're all pretty good. Um, I know that some people would disagree with me on that comment, but I like them. Now if I could, I would power the baler with this tractor today, but I don't know if it would be able to power it. Okay, so I've just decided that today we won't be using that Volvo. Um, instead we're going to be using this tractor over here. Now yes, I will be replacing some of the tractors and also adding to the fleet, because I know that we can have more. Obviously the amount of tractors we already have for the map is ridiculous but I, I do want to try out other stuff as well so the only way I can do that is either by replacing some or by adding to the fleet. But today is the turn again of the Massey Ferguson 3080 but also I think we'll be, uh, if we have time, we'll be using the BM218 did I say? I think I did, the front loader because we do need to move the bells as well. So I think it'll be quite fun using that thing. I'm going to blitz through this job first of all we're not going to drag over any episodes doing this job, but it's going to be uh, quite fast. Um, and then, when this field is completed, we'll be able to move on to a different job. I guess we could actually enter the field just here, but uh, it might be easier if we start at the top, because then we can start at the end of a swath. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess up here anyway. So, yeah, let's begin. I'll unfold the baler. And we will start. Yes, it's a bit messy. But we should be okay. It might miss a few bits. 
Uh, we don't have soil mod running, so the, the, the uh, straw which we leave won't disintegrate. We'll have to cultivate it in, uh, which we will be doing very soon. But the, this baler is filling up pretty quickly. That's, that's good. We should get quite a few out of this. Hopefully they don't roll away too much. Yeah, I reckon a class rolling baler on here would look amazing. I suppose the class tractor which I had at the end of Naveswell Farm would have been quite a good tractor to use on here. Because we don't need the massive stuff. Just one higher horsepower tractor. And then the rest can be kind of uh, well small and mid-range. Actually it is picking up very well. It seems quite hard to miss some. So that is fantastic. Somebody actually did say before, when I, when I was mentioning the width of the swaths, uh, apparently this is done sometimes because some balers like to have quite a, an evenly distributed layer of straw rather than just one massive heap, which is understandable. So that could be the reason why that combine is doing it this way. That probably applies to the older machinery more, but I'm not too sure. It's a shame really that Farming Simulator makes it so obvious when you miss a bit of straw. I suppose if you're playing this on a smaller screen then that would be very handy because it makes it a lot clearer. However in real life, if you miss a bit of straw it would blend in very well with the stubble. Um, the stubble actually seems quite brown. I just realised, after all these hours of gameplay, I've just realised how brown the stubble looks. I suppose it's the time of year, you've seen real life fields where the fields have been cut and you can see how much lighter they are uh, but they do seem surprisingly dark bail every 10 seconds here it's working very well and yeah despite me saying that it was quite hard to miss a bit of straw I was wrong no it's very easy to miss a bit of straw unfortunately um, but yeah 10 bales so far from this tiny field this is fantastic Right then, so we've just got a few bits of straw left to do. Uh, there are a lot of odd bits, but hopefully you don't mind too much. Um, if I was to go around picking all them up, I'd be here all day. So we've just got to get the bulk load of this. Uh, like I say, in real life, it would be quite easy to miss a bit like that. Um, but yes, uh, what we need to do is just finish off here. Yeah, obviously it's not ideal to miss anything, but um, it would be quite a tedious job if we did have to go and pick everything up. Get this bit here and this bit over here. But yeah, almost done. And finally, we've got this little bit here and we are done. Come on, we've just got to get a tiny bit more straw. We need a complete bale here. There we go. Okay, so we finish off with, is that 15 bales or is it already counted it? Yes, 15 bales, which is very impressive from such a small field. I'm really happy about that. Um, yeah, if it just looks a bit neater, that, that would be great. Uh, but anyway, that is done. So what we need to do now is get the trailer attached to this tractor. And then we need to get the Volvo BM with probably the spike. I, I tend to use the in-game spike instead of getting a mod because I find it works usually quite well um, but yes I know there are a lot better mods out there now uh, yes one of my criticisms that I've had is that I don't put stuff away when I probably should do and I agree I've dumped way too much stuff outside so to start off with we'll put this baler in the shed back there my other criticism is I don't do enough in cab so I try and stay in cab as well but the reason why I do come out of cab quite a bit is because otherwise um, it, it kind of limits what you can see so you don't really see too much if you know what I mean so that's why I do that uh, but I probably should do a little bit more in cab right PTO off and then we can drop that off the back and then we can head back over here I do it out of habit as well and we should be able to attach to the massive Marshall trailer. It is debatable whether or not this is the best trailer for the map, but it works very well. This is, I think this, yeah, this is the standard one. This is the standard trailer 
this doesn't have the locking script by Bullet Bill. Uh, so we can't cheat, if you can call that cheating. It has to be done honestly, which is kind of worrying because I know how bad I am at doing this. So most of it will most likely be off screen. I think we can enter the field here actually. Makes it a lot easier. Just cut in there. And uh, yeah, it needs to be fairly level, otherwise it's not going to work very well. Okay, handbrake on, engine off, and then we need to run back and get the Volvo BM2, no, LM, LM218, I think it is. Yep, it is definitely the 218, I've just checked because I don't want to keep making that mistake. And luckily we already have a bail spike here, hopefully it will fit. This is a nice little whiz about machine. Love the chunky wheels. Very unique. Will it fit to this though? Hopefully it will do. Well, not if we do that. There we go. Yes, this should be uh, quite good and the visibility is obviously fantastic. I am looking forward to this. Let's just fold this up fully. Yeah, so the interior is a little plain, but it's still a really good mod. I love this. It's unique. I think that's what's good about it. Right, first bail. Right in the entranceway here. Let's just get on the spike. Skewer. Right, so do you start at the front or the back? I always forget this. I might start at the back. We'll be filling the trailer anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, let's go and cab for this, although that doesn't make it too much easier. The biggest issue you have with the in-game spikes is they get stuck too often too easy to get them stuck. However, this modified version is a lot better. If I can do two in one go, that would be good. I don't know if I'd be able to. Okay, let's go for this one. I really do like this mod, it's very unique. You've just got to be a bit careful on the bumpy terrain because otherwise you lose your bales. It's quite nippy as well, you can get up to some speed. I like this, this is good. I'm so pleased I downloaded this mod. Let's just make sure we get this aligned properly. It seems very stable. The whole design of this is good. Here we go, this is where we mess up. Come on, please. Yes, there we go. I'm bound to drop one, though. There's no way I'd do the whole field without dropping one. Yeah, so FS17 has got the ratchet strapping as standard, which is just incredible, uh, because we've needed ratchet strapping since day one, really, ever since the first Farming Simulator. Actually, no, Farming Simulator 09, because there was no bales... I don't think as standard in 08. There was a mod and I seem to remember if you, what was it? Something made the bales go completely white. The textures disappeared if you did something. I can't remember what it was. Some kind of glitch. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what I meant to say here is that uh, ratchet strapping is going to be very, very handy uh, in the new edition of Farming Simulator. but I think this is a really easy tool to use. It's fantastic. So I'm having a bit of an issue with my settings again. I really don't know what's going on here. Um, basically, my steering wheel is now working fine. It's all good. But now, the uh, key bindings for the side panel don't want to work correctly. It's not the side panel itself. I think, I don't know, but I think what's happened is because I've got so many mods installed, um, there are so many different settings that you can choose, and when you put one key binding in, it messes up everything else. So I can only assume that it's because my mods folder is literally overflowing, it's bursting. I do need to clear it out a bit. Um, so <laughs> I think that is the problem. But yes, it does need to be done. Okay, let's go and cab for you again. There we go. Whoa, that was quite an impressive uh, 
lift up there and almost lost all the bales. Let's see if we can get these two on this side without pulling any off. It starts to get harder when you've got a lot because you can pull them all off. That's what I tend to do. I'm surprised I haven't dropped any. I'm really surprised. Whoa, not good. Not good at all. It was going quite well until now. Okay, that's not good. I'm beginning to panic. Okay, so they are on. We've got, well, we've got two, four, six left to do. We're over halfway. Yes, yeah, so I'm basically making do with my mouse today. I have to use the mouse to control the front loader, which is not half as good. The joystick is way better. Right, so we've got two left after these two. Um, we can just about squeeze them on here. I think I might put them on the top layer. They should fit in here though. Oh, not too good. Come on, please. If I mess this up, I could probably accidentally knock the entire trailer over. I've done it before. It does not work well. Right, we can assist with four-wheel drive. It does work quite quite well here. Uh, but that is coming together okay. Uh, not amazingly. We've got two left to do, so we'll pick these up. Go back in cab. Go for this one on the left spike. Okay, that's kind of in the middle. We'll drop it next to this one and then we'll pick them both up together. Okay. So one per side. There we go. Fantastic. And yes, it is a bit of a balancing act here. We somehow need to get them to stay there. The issue is one of the bales on the other side didn't go down properly. And if anything is going to mess it up, it's that. Okay, please, please stay. Just stay there. Uh, meanwhile, we'll take this back to the yard. Better fold this up again. Now we'll try and find a good place for it. So yeah, there's a, a lot of different yards on this farm. We do need to expand because I've overfilled this yard completely. It's not good at all. Um, but we should have. To, uh, we kind of do a space. It's a bit of an implement shed over there, though. Um, technically, there is space here, so we could just put it in one of the bays. But it's not ideal. Okay, <laughs> there we go. And then here we are at the bale trailer. As you can see, not perfectly in line, but they're on. In fact, it looks a lot better from this side, and this side doesn't look good. Look at this side. Oh yes, look at that bale stacking skill. Absolutely terrible. But it's okay. What we'll do is we'll just take this back to the yard as carefully and as slowly as possible. Otherwise, we could have some rolling bales again, which I really don't want. Actually, let me just count them. It should be 15. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 30, 40. What? 14? Can I do I, What is this? I can't count, or we're missing one. I am not too sure. I'll have a proper count when we get back to the yard. Yes, there is 15. There's definitely 15. I was beginning to worry. Uh, so yeah, most of these will be sold, but some of them are going to be used for the cattle feed and bedding. So for the time being, we're just going to park it over here. We're going to reverse it in. And then probably uh, tomorrow or the episode after, we'll start to sort them out. 
But yeah, this does not look stable at all. Just put it back in here and just leave them. We do not want to touch them again. You can see them shifting. Anyway, that is it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And yeah, sorry about getting rid of the Valmets. We'll hopefully get it back again in a future episode um, when some of the issues are fixed, if they're fixed. Um, but yeah, hopefully you like the replacement tractors. I certainly do. So until next time, thank you for watching and see you again soon. Bye for now.